Hello. Welcome. Uh, we're back. It is Cool People Tuesday. We're playing some more Tunic. Now listen, I've been saying for like three days now that we were going to finish the game. But listen, listen, we're going to finish this game today. I guarantee it. Today is the last day we're playing Tunic. Uh, we keep getting sidetracked, looking for fairies, looking for secret things. We're going to do some more of that today, but um, ultimately the goal here is to uh, fight the boss, right? So we'll make sure that we leave like 30 to 45 minutes at the end just to do that no matter what. No matter how we're doing, we'll go fight a boss. Now we remember, we found out where there's a fairy, so let's go get that fairy. We don't know what the puzzle is, but we know the location of the of the puzzle, which is almost as good. Ow. I don't know yet if there are going to be secret fairies and stuff in the um like the under, you know, in the in the various dungeons and stuff. I kind of hope not, but we'll find out. Just fight these chumps, get a little bit of money. So you remember, we all remember. There's a man here, own him. We came down over here, and we said this is weird, that this is just like a friggin' dead end. For no reason. And when we do our little seeking spell... Hey, look at that. All these guys want us to do something here. But the question is... What do... That I don't so much know. There's some little plants here that kind of seem like they could be in a pattern. There's of course three little flowers here that kind of seem like they could be in a pattern. There's no way I can like teleport or like press A to secretly open door or anything like that here. Let's see, let's look at these statues. There's a headless statue here. There's a statue that still has its head here. And there's a head in the water here. Okay, we've taken inventory of all the heads. Let's look at the map. Maybe that will give us some secret little clues that we can use. If we so choose. Let's see, where are we? I'm here. Yeah, so what's the deal here? We could try doing this little pattern. Uh, right down, right up, left up. Wait. Da, 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 da. I bet that is a, a way to find a fairy down there, though. If I was a betting man. Oh look, there's three flowers here, too. What could it mean? <clears throat> Is there any way that this could be a pattern? I'm just trying to think of like, what are things here that look like they could be little patterns? I'm up here, crucially. Is it good? Is it bad? Hello, hey Arrakis, welcome. We're, we're picking up on the puzzle that we left off on last time, right after this. It's the one that's right up on top of here. Kind of trying to figure out... There's not, like, a lot of stuff around here. Is the thing... I have a cat on me, so I can't type much, but, walk it, or, but watching. Oh, hello, cat! That's okay, cats are good. This is valid. Hmm, these little stumps feel like my best bet, although I can't think of what they would mean, because they, they, crucially, they form a T intersection, right? That's, that's the big thing that I really don't know what to do with. I mean, I guess, yeah, when, and this is hard to know. You could go like, boom, 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 I guess, would kind of almost work. 
I'm available for hints if you need to time box things for stream. Just let me know. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, let's let's try that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, not likely. It's too short. Anyway. Mouse, do you have any cool hints? Also, I highly recommend solving the mountain door puzzle at some point. Even if not on stream, it's very fun and clever. Okay. I remember you mentioned that yesterday. Right. There's not some way I can get behind that waterfall, is there? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong place. That was worth a try. And it's definitely directs me up here, right? Yeah, like right there. There's not like a secret door here that I don't know about, is there? Just checking, just being thorough. Trying to be. Now that I know what this is, we gotta... Okay, some little purple pajamas. What is this changing? Oh, my little scarf? Okay, with the little black scarf. No. Fox kind of good. Oh, pink fox. Yep, there's the one. Wait. Is that changing the tail color? No. My my waistband? My nose. Is it my nose? Boots, I think. Oh, okay. It looks like my nose is changing color, too. Very hard to see. Okay, let's just go black, though. Alright, here we are. We're the little pink fox. Murder this man for no reason. I'm all angry. All right. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we're tell we're going into the waterfall. Maybe the what does the river look like? Mm, the river doesn't really do anything that's pattern like. Cause it kind of splits up here. I feel like these statues have got to be part of it. What if I just press A on the statue? Can I target the statue? What about you? There's three flowers, but they don't really seem to be anything. Wait. Am I doing the seeking spell wrong? I swear that I'm doing it right. Musebit says, saying hello and good luck, because now I have to go put a boat on a mooring, but may return uh, to find you victorious over a ghost, mo a ghost mother. I hope so. We're doing some, some puzzles here, too. But yeah, fighting ghost mother is definitely on the agenda today. For real this time. How? Why, how am I doing the seeking spell wrong now? What mistake have I made? 
I'm doing it right. Hmm, maybe I wasn't. You know, we could try praying. That's a thing we can do. See if it does anything at any of these places. I'm trying to think of like ways that we have to actually interact. There aren't many. I really don't know what to do here. I feel like there's no... There's like nothing around here. I worry that I'm, there's like a secret way here where I'm supposed to go in and then it takes me to something actually important. Like, that, that I'm gonna go to a puzzle room, but I can't figure out how I would enter here. And there's definitely, like, nothing on the map for this part, right? Oh, let's get the fox out of the way. Let's come back to this in a second. <clears throat> I gotta think about that one. And Wisebird says, I looked it up if you want a hint. I would take a hint, I think. Yeah. I just have no clue what we're doing there. This wall is dumb and the chest is unrewarding, by the way. Okay, we won't bother. Giant Spatula, hello! I'm a pink fox this time. We're doing lots of puzzles today. And then we're fighting Fox Mom. She will be defeated. We could probably just go do that now. But I want to do. I want to find some more secret fairies. Do I have to be on this rock? Hmm. Oh, yay, puzzles! You are kind of on the right thought pattern for the fairy. The wall will blow your mind. This one over here. What could it be? Well, they just tell me in the the book is like, oh yeah, you just, you follow the dotted line, you big dumb idiot. And it, it seems like it would work. Investigate behind waterfalls since you love that. Okay, I did, I tried to go down under that other waterfall. But let's see. I guess we could go under this one. Leave me alone. I mean, we've been... Actually, I don't know if we did go down here. I do love investigating behind waterfalls. Please. Any puzzle that would blow my mind, my assumption is just I would hate it. Pull me through the waterfall. What about other waterfalls? Oh, it's just really the a few here. Don't really have good access to most of these. Oh no, mustache! Did you find the changing room for Pink Fox? I did. I thought it was a puzzle for a very long time and was very stuck trying to figure out what the puzzle was. I just turned Pink Fox today. 
Um, but I was like ringing bells and listening to the notes and stuff. I'm on the right track. The light yesterday is so funny when you put on the room. <laughs> Highly recommend. Listen! It was fine. Look behind the waterfall. So did Arrakis, thinking it was a puzzle. Yeah. It seems very puzzlicious. How? How would I investigate behind this waterfall? It can't be done. We've tried freezing water before, right? He said, becoming absolutely desperate. It's very Legend of Zelda secret, I think. Unwise Bird gave you a hint about the wall. The wall will blow my mind. No way. Remember that original Legend of Zelda thing where the Famicom had a microphone on it, but the um, the the Nintendo in America didn't have a microphone, and so there was one enemy that they were like, this enemy is very sensitive to loud noises, but it didn't make any sense in the US. Lol, that is a Zelda thing, it's true. <laughs> blow it into the mic. It will blow my mind. I bet the me blowing into the microphone, I bet that sounded really good for you to listen to with your ears. You're welcome. The temptation to just say F this and go fight the Fox Mother is enormous for me. You have to understand. If you want further fairy hit hints, look at the other waterfalls also. All right, let's take a close look at this waterfall. Is it doing something? Is there a pattern in it? All right, let's go fight Fox Mom. Look at other waterfalls. Immediately goes and looks at the same waterfall. We're fighting Fox Mom. I can't. A man can only take so much. Can only take so much puzzles with zero feedback. Let's do it. Giant Spatula says, I'm so sad I missed the realization that this game is the witness. We're out. That was a straw. It was a straw that broke the little baby fox's back. Hello. Leave me alone. I don't want to kill you. Poor little fox. He's out. We already got something from collecting ten fairies, so... Let's just GTFO, honestly. There's a save point right here that's convenient to get. Poor little fox. Okay, if you beat Fox Mom and you have stream time left, you have to spend the rest staring at the mountain door? Alright, we'll see. Rude! Poor little fox. He's fine. He's gonna go beat up Fox Mom. Okay, what do we want for Fox Mom? Crucially, we might actually have good things here. We have the leaf, we have the sword, we pop. Yeah, we kind of determined that most of this stuff is not actually things that I want. Root of Arrakis. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Agreed! Agreed! He's making you do things you'll hate! I probably will.
Hey, Fox Mom. Oh, you know what? I gotta fix the uh, camera. Rag says, oh, will he hate it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come here. Evocator, sub! Own her! Own her! I'll move my head to be over the health bar after this attempt. Actually, can I? Let's just do that now. That is a pause, right? Let me just move my head up in a totally normal looking way. Good, here we go. Oh, right, okay, I forgot about this. Help! Let me just do that in a way where I get hit a hundred times. Looks like he's labeling, uh, the head is the air now. Oh my gosh, it's me, the air. Piotr Jr., the air. Stop it. second phase I should have known <laughs> first try I wish don't get cocky gets cocky <laughs> GG no all right let's do it this time but even cockier How many phases? Two? Will there be one phase where we ascend into space and she becomes some kind of a monster planet? That's my favorite one, when bosses do that. When they become either some kind of a space ghost or a monster planet. I hope we get one of those. Let's save my little corpse then for, um... For second phase. She got me finally. Good juice drinking.
Keep on her. Oh, I've drank way more juice than I realized. I lied. Do this now. Some sort of space ghost goes to coast. Oh my god, could you imagine? The whole game was a space ghost reference. Oh. I should have saved it. Oh, huge mistakes. Wow, okay, that's a huge problem actually when she does that. I'm getting riggedy wrecked here. I stood in the stuff! Rengwet says hello! Giant Flash says every time you talk I think shh, the air is speaking! Rangot says, IDK, if you realize, but your face cam is right above the boss name. It makes it look like you're the boss, Fyotr the Air. Yeah, we did. You're, you're, we, it's, it's, it's been floated that, uh, that, that seems to be the case. Okay, so, what will we do differently? We'll save. Ooh, those V-close. Don't stand in the stuff and drink the juice. I think are going to be the keys here. Drinking the juice and not standing in the stuff. So here's the deal. We're not using the, um, grabby gun at all. So, we could put some bombs on there. And if we don't like the bombs, we could put... Do I have any health? We have nine health strawberries. So if we're getting real close to doing it, we could we could eat some strawberries for more health. Hi. Enjoy. Is this the final boss? I think so, yeah. I believe so. Oh, this is not going as well. Already, this is the worst attempt. Yeah, blow her up! Unsuccessful detonation. Uh. Let's drink the juice. We need more juice! Honor. Where's my little body, by the way? Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. Easy. Oh, it took a big hit. Oh, not like this! Oh my god, not like this. I'm out of stamina. Oh, I gotta get the body! <laughs> oh no! Giant Spatcher says, respect women juice. Respect women juice? It's the best kind of juice. I don't know this. I don't know this reference. Rex says, I keep thinking you're saying Connor. Is that the fox's name? I think his name is Connor. I think it's true. Connor the fox. It's a good fox name. Fox McCloud. Connor Fox McCloud. Okay, so what happened there? We didn't manage the stamina right. And I got <laughs> real stuck. Dark Souls Fox died, I know. I want to start, I want a new attempt. No, don't put me back here. Fine. I want to do over. <laughs> Lol. It's a mulligan. It just killed me, start over. 
Bomb the fox. Did you give you sunglasses in New Game Plus like in Star Fox? That would be very cool. Get your ghost! Oh, I forgot. I think it will still be there though, right? I could be wrong. Rangwet says, Connor McTunic, the famed protagonist of Tunic, with his famous quotes like, I wear the tunic, and the tunic chose me. Ah, oh, so many iconic lines. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this, a tunic. Am I even wearing a tunic? Probably. That seems like that would be a pretty big oversight. Of course, the window of this game calls it Secret Legend. So I wonder if that was the title at some point. And then they were like, you know what, Secret Legend, a bit generic. <laughs> uh, good bombs, but not good getting hit by the sword. Come here, you. Ow. Drink the juice. Watch the stamina. These attempts are gonna get worse for a while, I think, before they get better. Just FYI. Drink the juice. Find an opening to drink the juice. Good. Yeah, we're almost out of juice. Arrakis says, too generic, unlike the word tunic, completely not generic and very Googleable. <laughs> Listen. This is not the one, so I... Wrap it around and use the tunic as a whip! Good idea. Secret Legend of Zelda, the game starring Link, a guy who wears a tunic! Oh my god. Evocator says a true Dark Souls player knows the attempts are good, bad, 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 done. <laughs> I think that could be the way here. Giant's Badger says you're excused from meeting chat during a boss fight? Nah, it's fine. This is not the winning attempt. This is not the one. Oh, there's four now? You cheeky learning to shoot four times. Ow. Help. Somebody help this poor fox. She drank the bone hurting juice. I hate that. Oh, that thing. Rangoet uh, says, Arrakis, one word of the protagonist's equipment is a good way to name every game. Elden Ring should be renamed to Golden Tinged Excrement, Excrement and Minecraft to Dirt Block. I would play Dirt Block. Oh, and The Legend of Zelda? What is that? Did you mean Iron Boots? Oh, the best Iron Boots. The boots that are heavy when they're outside of your backpack, but light when they're inside your backpack. Arrakis says, other rejected titles. What if Link's persona was that fox from Disney's Robin Hood? I would also play Dirt Block. Lock it in. Next, next game jam game we make will be Dirt Block. Evocator says, I <laughs> really would play Dirt Block. I really would. I can pretty much guarantee this. Too, way too soon. Ah, oh, we still got her a little bit. No, the bombs! They're so distracting. Oh, she blew up my bomb! I didn't know she could do that in midair. I think that's what that was, right? This is not the one either. 
if there was any doubt. Super Mario Brothers, you mean unregulated mushroom consumption? Turtle shell. Steam World Dig, now that's a game I forgot until you mentioned it. Oh, did I miss? Oh, I think Dirt Block is just Motherlanders or Motherloader, Steam World Dig. I did like Steam World Dig a lot. That was when I first moved to my apartment in uh, Northern California, which was the first place I was living after college and just had like nothing. I had no furniture, I had nothing set up, I had just moved in. It was like the end of December, I remember it was kind of cold and I was in my apartment, which was basically totally empty, uh, playing, sitting in a wooden chair playing SteamWorld Dig. And you know what? Pretty good game. However, I did not like SteamWorld Quest nearly as much, which I also played. And SteamWorld Heist I didn't really get into either. But they made at least one good game. I'm rooting for them. I like that they try lots of different games. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. Oh, and of course they made The Gunk, right? We liked The Gunk, okay? Was The Gunk good? <laughs> was The Gunk good? Was The Gunk a 6.5 out of 10? Is that what The Gunk was? I think that it was. I'd say Gunk was decent. Quest was sadly not good. Heist is one of my all-time favorites, though. Maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just needed to give it a more of a chance. I I I noped out of it pretty early. Like maybe 30 minutes in. Shoot. That's for you. Oh yeah! Come here. Isn't there a whole new Bug Snacks DLC? Yeah, I think it's coming out later this month, right? I missed some, uh... The Island of the Big Snacks, right? We should play it. Good moves. Well, we're trying. Ow, that was not the best move. Okay, we just gotta find a time to drink some juice without getting killed. Oh, we're out of juice. Oh, this is not the one. Okay, that's fine. Dig 2 is a lot more... Oh wait, I missed a bunch of this. Rangwet says, I wasn't super big on SteamWorld Dig. It was interesting though. SteamWorld two, Dig 2 I heard was good and better as well. Speaking of which, there's new bug snacks, snacks merch. And Rangwet says, Dig 2 is a lot more polished than Dig 1 for sure. Ow. You jerk. I'm gonna come back. Ow. I'm way over here, unfortunately, and tanked basically all of those. Maybe we should, um, put strawberries on the, uh... On the grocery list for next time. Oh! I'm so close to being out of stamina. Oh, we did it. Is that it? Are you gonna play the DLC? I want to. May can I get Bug Snacks on PC? I played it on. I think so. I might buy it again to be able to stream it properly. Evocator says, "Sorry, I distracted you." Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Rango says, "Me wasn't played Bug Snacks. Uh, Bunger or something. Bungers are v good. 
Final form time! Is there an even more final form? Also, speaking of SteamWorld Heist and turn-based strategy squad games, when is XCOM 2, Piotr? We gotta find a way to do it. Victory! Oh, yay! Oh, thank you for the light snacks, Rango Head. Grats on Fox, Mom! Thank you! We got her. Alright, let's see what happens next. This fox, his eyes are so beady. He's wearing a tunic. Oh no, now I'm in the D20. That's not what I want. Is this the bad ending? How do bungers taste? I guess like a burger, right? This doesn't feel good. I feel like... I feel like we might have got the bad ending there. Sad face. Victroy? I actually really hate it when games do that. Especially when you get through like a hard part and it's like, nope, you, you did the bad job, you get the bad ending. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't really make me want to, uh, you know, go back and try to get the good ending. It usually makes me want to just like thumbs down the game in whatever way that I can. Rangbot says, XCOM to you love. You like turn-based strategy games. This is true. And this is one is real good and intense one. We can name our meat sacks after your chat. Oh, remember the room with the bed? How can I thumbs down this game? Whoa, an indie game that ends up with us ends with us replacing the final boss locked in a prison. Never seen that one before. Oh, what is that a, a reference to? Now for the real ending. Do I have to do the stupid door puzzle? I don't want to do it. I'm going to be honest. We got time, so we can do it, but I really don't want to. <laughs> yes? Let's take a look at it. Because I just... You don't have to do it. I just... I, I looked at it. I just glanced at it and saw it was a bunch of numbers, and I was like... don't really want to do that. Um... I want you to have a good time. Same, to be honest. Do something you'd enjoy. Well, probably the other thing we'd do is just call the stream early. Missing one page. Return to seek another path. Like the good life. Cough, cough. We'll do, we'll do more of the good life. Um, definitely on Sunday. One more page. Is, that, is the one more page behind um, the door? Giant Fletcher says, I love the door puzzle. Okay, let's look at the door puzzle. Yes, it is. Okay. Rakis also loved the door puzzle, but maybe we're freaks. All right, let's see. We'll look at the door puzzle. We'll look. We'll look. Uh, Rangwet says, quite a bit of games have ended with us taking the place as the final boss into prison, but the biggest that comes to mind is, wait, never mind. I can't spoil a game you haven't played yet. Oh, my God. It was fun. All right, all right, all right. We'll look, we'll look. I just looked at it and I was like, this looks complicated. I didn't do that. Oh, I did do that. I accidentally pressed the controller against the uh, the bottom of the desk. Well, good work. Let's take a look at this waterfall. Let's look at the same waterfall again. What could I possibly be looking for here? Comparing it to a different waterfall. Literally go investigate other overworld waterfalls. All right, all right. Here's one. Giant Spatch just says, I don't know what Arrakis is talking about in regards to this waterfall. Or don't, and go to the mountain door. What if I look at the same waterfall some more though? It's my favorite one.
Who asked you? Up. Ragnarok says, all I will say it is a game you most certainly will play someday. And for anyone who's played it, moth moment. Oh, I have a guess then. And Giant Spatcher says, no, I only saw half the puzzles. Okay, so here's a waterfall. I can walk behind this. The bubbles? Maybe? What is your guess? I really don't know. I'm really at a loss. This is not a good use of your time. But the fairy! It is not a pattern-based puzzle. Oh. Wait, really? Are there other ways to unlock fairies? Unless I'm misremembering. How do you make the statues look the same? Well, by moving ahead, of course. How am I back here? Is this part of it? <laughs> Rocky says, I'm talking to Evocator offline and I'm worried I solved it using a glitch. Oh no! Why I would do ice and fire at the same time to so maybe ignore me. Rex says I think maybe it went out of bounds without realizing it. Giant Spatch says, oh, I get it. And thought I and thought I was a puzzle genius after going out of bounds. Well look, I would love to like grab this head somehow. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa I don't have my sword equipped anymore. I mean, I went in here a second ago. Think about it backwards. How would I chop off the head? No, it's just a silly trick. Wise Bird told me. Let's see. Okay, don't do this because it will just make you mad. Instead, do the dot mountain door, which is a good puzzle. Just tell me. What am I? What am I supposed to do here? How can I make this one look like this one? Blow it up? Oh, that is dumb. You mean the first time ever in this game that we've blown up a door with an explosion? 
To solve the puzzle, you must live a thousand lives till you finally achieve world peace and the creation of the good God Burger, gifted by God himself. After such return, the tuner can input the entirety of the possibilities of quantum theory and then press A on a classic NES controller, and you've won. It will blow your mind. The flowers on the ground near a wall are always bombable. I think this is the first time we've seen that mechanic. Hello. Oh. There's a hint somewhere else on the map that teaches you, but yeah. Yeah, let's go to the mountain door. I've just remembered that I don't care. Um. <laughs> and by one, I mean one of 900 Korok seeds. Interesting. I just remembered that I don't care. Me, about work. Rocky says, I don't think I ever knew this. Did you, like, teleport behind the door? I think if you, like, zoom in there on the map, it says. Well, if you zoom in on the map, it says there's a, a like, a way there. There it is. But it doesn't indicate how to get over there. There's nothing about, like, a bomb. Maybe think of a different fairy. There was definitely one where I went behind a waterfall and then dashed into it. Alright, let's take a look at this mountain door. That puzzle gets my lowest ever rating. 7.5 out of 10. The cube! No, I don't care about the cube. The cube can go kick rocks, as far as I'm concerned. I think I might have out of bounds dashed into the loading zone for that room. Not a bad way to go. Let's see. Evocator says I'm ready for the door. Amusement says our little fox guy is very cute. Thank you, I decorated him. I made him more pink than he was before. All right. How hard could it be? Arrakis led you wrong. It's okay. I mean, I would have had no hints otherwise. I would not it would I would not in a hundred years have thought to to bomb that little section of wall. Alright, because my solution probably would have worked to be fair. We could have gotten there eventually. We've done some glitch tactics before. Alright, so wanna see why I noped out of this puzzle? Let me show you. Let me show you something that no reasonable person would enjoy. The door in the mountains, right? Nope. Nope. This is not a puzzle, this is an advent calendar, and I don't want any part of it, frankly. Um, my hint, there's a secret passage that connects two other waterfalls. It direct, it passes directly past the loading zone. This one says, that's a mess. Yeah, remember my graph paper. My solution was walk through the passage until I was right there. Oh, and then dash. I see, and that got you through. It's not, so blowing up that wall isn't as bad as that random wall where we had to just press A against a wall, which was also a mechanic that they didn't teach us. Piotr's gonna hate this. Huh, what could the numbers mean on this advent calendar? Well, I assume that they're page numbers. Um, right, so if you go to page 48, that's this one here. But, I don't know... I don't know what I would be looking for on the pages. Yes, you have assumed correctly. Yeah, we got that far before, but we, like, looked at some pages, and I was like... Nah. Nah. What are you supposed to be doing for ending B? I'm supposed to be sharing my wisdom. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the Golden Path. Yeah, so I was thinking, like, that I'm looking for a bit of the pattern, right? So, like, maybe it's this. Maybe this is our bit of the pattern. Oh, I don't want to do this. Okay, we need graph paper. I'll be right back. I'll be right back with some graph paper. Can we? Is there a better way to do this visually on the computer screen? I guess so. Um, let's go to the calendar, by which I mean MS Paint. Nope, there's no better way. We'll do it. We'll make our own graph paper. 
Uh, this is a screenshot. I forgot to save the things we did last time, so I took a screenshot. Um, okay, so anyway, here we go. Let's enjoy some nice graph paper time. So it needs to be 5x5, five five, right? Which means we need to draw four lines. Uh, four lines, yeah. Right? In each direction. So one, two... Oh, I'm going to make a little paper version of that puzzle and cut it out. <laughs> Three. That's awesome. Four. One. Oh, the one where you have to put together the uh, the things. Honestly, not a bad way to go because you have to figure out how they fit together. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Okay, so the first one is on page 48. Yeah. All right, so on page 48, we can see there's a little pattern here, right? It's the... It's... Oh, I really don't want to do this. It's the... Um, <laughs> Oh, because it's going to be such a long... I'm going to mess up the input somewhere and not know that I've I've effed it up. Um, okay, so it's shaped like this. So let's put this in, in the calendar. Um, this will be like this. We'll go... Boom, 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 boom. And presumably this goes over to here. Let's take a look at... 11. It just feels very tedious, but let's do it. Because apparently the thing behind the door is awesome. Um, on page 11, hey look! There's another golden path up here. So let's go back and we'll draw that too. Start from the beginning instead of a random page IMO. Oh, are we not going to go to through every cell? Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, this goes like this. Let's just put this in since we have it right here. Alright, let's go to the beginning. No, it's okay. Either way. Sorry to mess you up. That's fine. Uh, okay, page 12. Let's let's write these down, because we don't want to be flipping back and forth forever. Um, so actually, let's do that first. Let's go here. I, have z I really do have zero enthusiasm for this. Okay, enough complaining. Uh, let's draw this in a different color, so we, we'll know that it's the number. 2, 6, 52... 27, 21, 4, 50, 42, 15, 22, wait, I didn't make enough horizontal lines, it's only 3. <laughs> Arrakis, I told you he would hate it, I do a little bit hate it, I'll be honest. Um, let's do it like... That looks really good right there. Let's bring this down here. Okay. And back to putting down the numbers. What do we got? 55, 31, 33, 46, 28, 9, 40, 18, 34, oh, we made that one line a little bit golden, 16, 12, 39. If you're just jumping in, welcome to the channel. This is what we do on this channel. We uh, draw grids and write numbers in them. Okay, there's all our page numbers. So now we don't have to flip back and forth every time. That'll save us some time at least. Let's go to page 12, which is at the bottom. So on page 12, uh oh, where is it? Okay, it must be here. They wouldn't make it a square. That doesn't make any sense.
All right, this has been Tunic. Um, man, good game. I, I liked uh, I liked fighting the boss and stuff. I, I I'm, don't dig all the puzzles. I got to be honest, especially in the end game. Um, or Giant Special says to be frank, I'm still mad about the puzzle in the Outer Wilds DLC where you have to die in the sleep room. Oh, that was fine. That was a fine one. Uh, yeah, we're done. Well, let's call it here for tonight, and we'll just call the stream uh, a, a, an hour early. Rekka says, I love that puzzle. It was all right. It was good. Um, tell you what, though. We, this week, we're going to be uh, actually missing a lot of streams kind of for the rest of this week or skipping a lot of streams. Uh, so let's go to the calendar again one last time real quick just to see. Um, wait, before you do end it, go look at the saves. Go look at the saves. Ah, oh, never mind. I'm too late. We're here. This, the page on the saves. Data management. He means get that one on the page. The page on the saves. Oh. Oh, do you, you mean you want me to save the uh, paint? I'm never. I'm not gonna do this puzzle ever. Um, just between you and me, just secretly, confidentially, there's a zero percent chance of me doing this puzzle. Have you loaded your game recently? He means get the page nine puzzle piece. Okay, the page nine puzzle piece. Because he wants you to see the solution? Is it that tiny little golden box? Oh, oh, that tiny little golden thing? You should stop playing this game while you have fond memories of it. In the corner, of the top left corner there? It's, it's not really gold. So what do you think over, of Tunic overall now that it's over? That's a good question. Do not listen to Evocator. Okay. Uh, I liked it. I, I liked it a lot. I think that the, it's it's done in a good way. Where like the end game stuff, I do find kind of annoying. I, I mentioned this last time. One of the things I find frustrating is that like the puzzles, most of the puzzles don't give you any feedback until you get them 100% correct, and so it's hard to know. Like you, you kind of, I kind of feel like I'm standing around trying things at random, not knowing if I'm getting any closer, if I'm on the totally the wrong track. Which even in one instance led us to be in a room that was not a puzzle. That I thought was a puzzle because there were a bunch, there were like bells and notes playing and stuff, um, but actually there was no puzzle in the room. Is this a puzzle? Yeah, exactly. It's it's hard to be sure. Um, but what I'm trying to say is I like that they save that stuff for the end, right? So if you don't, which is why I think it's like the witness, right? Um, so if you don't, if you if that's not really your cup of tea, as it, I really don't feel like it's mine, um, then you can enjoy most of the rest of the game. Rango says, yeah, I understand that in some puzzles. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little frustrating. Uh, anyway, let's go to the calendar real quick, just to wrap up, and we'll see when the next time we'll stream will be, because it won't be for a little while. Boom, cool. So, uh, this has been Cool People Tuesday. Uh, we are going to be off uh, Thursday, Friday, uh, uh, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which is the usual thing. Uh, but we'll be back next time on Sunday from 6 to 10, streaming The Good Life. That kind of stuff isn't great for streams, too. That's also true. I was sitting around here for some of the puzzles, just, like, putting in button presses, and it's just, you know, nothing happening on the screen, just, like, the tapping of buttons over and over. Rembrandt says, I should play The Witness someday. It seems at my alley, though the line puzzles I'm not super big on. If line... I mean, it's all line puzzles. So, if, if you're not super big on line-style puzzles, that's the whole game. Um, anyway, yeah, again, but I... Yeah, I, I like... It's worth checking out. Yeah, the witness is 100% line puzzles, lol. Yeah, weirdly, the Konami code does nothing in this game. We tried. It does seem like it would, yeah, uh, with, the, with the little fairy things uh, or with the little, the little magical inputs. Anyway, again, the next time we'll be here is not for the rest of this week, but we'll be back from 6 to 10 on Sunday with more of The Good Life. That game is wacky, and I am excited to do the last main quest line in it. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. If you watched any of this live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Uh, and if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.